What's going on everybody? Brandon here and I am back with another toy review. In front of us we're taking a look at the massive new Lightyear playset vehicle. This thing is awesome. This is the Blast and Battle XL15. This thing looks awesome. I am so excited. This is like when Sid got the big one and he got that giant rocket ship to blow up Buzz with. That's how I felt when I got this in the mail from Target.com. Super awesome, 45 bucks. This thing is massive. Taking a look at the backside. Actually, let's start here. So you can see some of the details that we get. A rocket ship, Buzz Lightyear can pop out. And it looks like we got a landing gear too. That is really cool. And here is the backside. You can see more of the same demo going on. And this thing looks fantastic. Super, super excited. So again, you guys, 45 bucks, target.com. Super awesome. Here is the UPC if you need it. All right, we're gonna get this guy out of the packaging and take a closer look, stay tuned. All right, so we got everything out of the packaging. It kind of looks like a mess right now. There is a little bit of assembly required, but it doesn't look too difficult. Thankfully, there are some instructions that are really straightforward. So I'm gonna try and build this and uh, hang along with me there for the ride. Let's go. All right, so we got our XL15 all put together and it looks fantastic, you guys. I am really excited for this vehicle, see if we can figure out that gimmick and everything that goes along with it. So taking a look at our Buzz Lightyear figure next, this guy is actually a mix of a few different Buzz Lightyears that we've gotten in the past. His head sculpt kind of looks new to me. It's definitely a similar rendition. And then the rest of this is Buzz Lightyear, but with uh, hair usually on the top of his head. And then he's got no buttons painted over here on this side. He's got no decal on his arm, and he's got no decal on the other arm. The cool thing, though, is this is a fully posable action figure. Usually you'll get a cheaper figure with a vehicle, maybe one that doesn't have all the articulation he's supposed to, but this Buzz does have a full range of articulation. Moving in the head, side to side. Arms come out, forward, and back, full 360. Bend, twist at the elbow, full wrist articulation, full waist articulation. His legs come out, forward, they go back just a bit. There's a bend and a twist at the knee. So that is all of the standard articulation that we get on those $10 or $13 action figures. So pretty cool. He does come with his helmet. And then super excited for this jetpack because I'm pretty sure this is the jetpack that fits on all of the Lightyear figures that we've gotten to date so far. With the exception of that one $17 one that comes with the laser. And this is a really, really cool jetpack. Um, it does retract, but not up or down, unfortunately. It just goes straight back like that. And I think that is part of the gimmick. Uh, we're going to learn more about that soon enough. Um, and then the wings also go up like that. So definitely really interesting. And it just attaches right here on a Buzz's back. And that actually looks really good. That is an impressive wingspan. This guy looks fantastic. We're definitely going to try out that jetpack on a couple other buzzes, but this looks great. All right, and next, taking a look at the XL15. First, let's start with the landing gears. This is really, really cool. So we have one, two, and three right there. Three landing gears. Looks pretty awesome. Having this uh, vehicle in hand kind of reminds me of the old X-Jet that I had when I was a kid. Really really cool so now we can see that the xl15 is propped up it's no longer on the ground like it's crashed and it looks really awesome and this is a big vehicle you guys from the side we're looking at about 20 inches and from the very front we are looking at maybe about five inches pretty cool i really do like this a lot you guys and so for the gimmick We'll start with just opening the cockpit. There's this little latch right here. You just do that and the cockpit opens. 
we can see the Star Command logo and the XL-15 right there. There's where the spare missile goes. There's where the missile goes that fires. And these buttons push the missile out. So that way you can shoot Zerg or a Cyclops or whatever you got going on in there that you're trying to fight that's an alien menace. And here's the inside of the cockpit. Nothing crazy there. Um, no decals or anything like that. No steering wheel. You can see where Buzz's feet go and where his torso goes. And that's pretty much it. Taking a look at the back side of the vehicle, you can see the boosters or the rockets right there. That is really, really cool. I really do like this a lot, you guys. This is an awesome piece. And so where most of the gimmick happens is on the back side of the vehicle. So we're going to push this back down. Close that just like that. Most of the gimmick happens underneath the back side of the vehicle. There's this lever right here. Let me see if I can get a better look at that for you guys. So it is this lever right here. Your thumb goes under it and it pulls out. And I'll show you what that looks like now. So with my thumb under there, under that lever, that's what it looks like. So Buzz is supposed to eject or fly out of the vehicle. And we are going to attempt to put Buzz in there. So follow along with me. Right, in the moment of truth let's see how this thing works whoa that is awesome that is so cool i actually really really like this you guys <laughs> it's definitely going to take a little bit of extra work if you're a kid you're definitely going to need some help from your parents but man this is an awesome awesome gimmick I don't know where Mattel got this from, if it's an idea from the movie if Buzz Lightyear shoots out of his spaceship with his jetpack, but holy smokes, you guys, that was awesome. So to put Buzz back into the cockpit, we gotta fold both wings back, just like that, and I think that's all we gotta do. Push the lever from the back here back in. Uh-oh, looks like it's getting tangled. All right, let's try this again, like this. I think I'm gonna have to guide it in just a little bit. So you wanna make sure the wings go in between these two parts right here. And it looks like that should be pretty good. So we're gonna try this again now. All right, and it looks like, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'm gonna push down on Buzz just a little bit so that way we can make sure he's nice and comfortable in the cockpit. And then you put this down, pull the lever back and let go. And that holds that into place. All right. Pretty cool. This is an awesome piece. All right, and how about a little bit of target practice? Remember, we got a button on the right and a button on the left. So we're gonna use these and see if we can knock down a couple of Space Rangers. Ready, aim, fire. All right, there's one. All right, and again, ready, aim, fire. There's two. We're two for two, and Lightyear is a liftoff. Pretty cool. And next for a size comparison, here is the XL15 with our base utility vehicle and our RC buggy. And these guys all fit in really, really nicely together. You can tell they're all part of the Star Command fleet, and they look really really good together you guys so if you're collecting those four inch figures these vehicles all fit in very nicely together all right you guys that about does it for this toy review thank you so much for watching once again we have the blast and battle xl15 i got this one from target.com for 45 dollars a really awesome vehicle and play set you guys i really really enjoyed this one a lot Definitely a home run if you're a kid or a collector. This is an awesome piece to add to your collection. And this was one that I knew I wanted for a very long time since before the full line was even released. I saw the promo art for this one and I knew I had to have this toy. 
definitely worth it and I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Let me know what you're finding in your local areas, what you're going to pick up or pass on, and what you think of the XL15. I got a lot more like your toys to review and we got some other fun stuff coming too along the way. So keep it right here at my channel and as I find more new cool and awesome stuff, I'll be sure to bring it to you right here. Once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.